All right. Who do we have this morning? We've got Mick Care back. Taking credit or not taking credit for the little bit of a stormy weekend? Well, it uh, depends on if you were uh, greatly inconvenienced by either funnel clouds or a lot of rain, then I'll... Uh, uh, I'm, Bob it off on Robert. Yeah, <laughs> Robert, Robert did it last yeah. here. So, uh, uh, no, we, today we have a whole lot of rain, it looks like, and it'll focus on the northern end of the valley for the first two-thirds, three-quarters of the day. Then, starting late afternoon and evening, going to work this way southward and to the southern end of the valley through Lakes area this evening. And then it's gone and out of here. It started Friday night. It's done Monday night. That's a long, long weather event. We have some showers in the Grand Forks area right now. Also up uh, Greenbush to Hallock eastward all the way towards uh, Upper Red Lake and through northeastern North Dakota to northeast of Devil's Lake. We have some pretty good rain. Last night, Warwick there in southeastern Ramsey County, nearly uh, two and three quarters of an inch of rain. A lot of places uh, saw some significant flooding. And right now we're looking at winds 13 to 20 miles an hour, starting to gust to about 20 to 25. So a breezy, cloudy, damp, humid, cool day. Those are the words to describe your Monday, guys. The sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> it, it, will. Will. it will. It will. It really will. Thank you, Meg. Thanks, mm -hmm. Meg. You're welcome. By the way, Meg, well, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> and, and welcome back. What are you talking about? You haven't been here for a week. <laughs> I know. And it, it's great to be back, but I got to tell you, it was great to be off. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's always so relaxing. I guess I don't know for sure. You know, well, we if Florida, yours was relaxing. I mean, it was. I think yeah. one of the greatest epiphanies I had was, I don't know if you experienced this in Florida with Chase, but it's like when you have four or five days off, you have this chance to become completely present oh, with yeah. Isabella or mm -hmm. Chase. And it's like such a transformational opportunity because you don't realize when you're working, like there's always kind of something going on in your head like, yeah, Isabella, you know, we're here, we're hanging out, but yeah. you're kind of spinning wheels about, okay, I got work to do where yeah, what am I gonna for do tomorrow? days, yeah. yeah, I could just sit there and we could just hang out and not do anything. And then this morning was the heartbreaker, like, Daddy, do you have to go back to work this morning? <laughs> it's like, yeah, sorry, honey. Yeah, exactly. I do. I do. I'll be back. But yeah, today I got to leave for a little while. So good, good. It was a really, really good vacation. And you were so chill that, you know, didn't even take any pictures. To we send took us. some pics, but it was just like, we went to like some cupcake shop in Minneapolis. We were down in the cities for a few days yeah, and yeah. ate some great food and things like that, but nothing that was like, although we did have an interesting experience. We mm -hmm. we were in Maple Grove. You've been in Maple Grove? Oh yeah, yeah. Phenomenal, like outdoors. I used to live in the city, so I've been everywhere. Oh, Tia Vaughn, have you been there? Like we oh, found this no, new but not there. <laughs> tea that we love and everything. No, Tia Vaughn, not Tia Vaughn. <laughs> I heard you say Tia Vaughn. <laughs> okay, good. There. I thought you were going to say Tia I'm like, oh, no, yeah, we were there. in Tia Vaughn. They used to hang out there all the time. But we came across this mom and like 10 little ducklings and we were oh, literally sweet. from here to there to them and and she couldn't get up the stairs and it was just this kind of surreal experience where she almost left them and oh wow yeah so it was it was we ended up, i ended up calling 911 for the cops the cops like really dude i'm like look man i just want to make sure all these ducklings <laughs> my get daughter's home. here and she sees these ducklings and we're not leaving until you that's get how here. it was it was like yeah. we are stuck here until you take care of this and this is out of my arena so but it was a great, great trip. Oh, good, good. Yeah. You missed out on the uh, big old meet and greet in Detroit Lakes. I Friday. saw that. People were asking, where's Chris? Where's Chris? Where's he at? I'm like, he's on vacay <laughs> right now. He's on vacay. Oh, we should have swung through DL, though, or something. On your way but, back. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. No, no, no. It's OK. Then you would have been in work mode. And but I saw some great pictures. Y'all were there. and Yeah, there were a couple people. You know, I had to force them to take pictures with us. This is uh, Lyle and Patty <laughs> Rudolph. <laughs> I didn't. They willingly took pictures. They're from Detroit Lakes and they're big fans of the show. <clears throat> oh, so nice. that was cool, yep. And then the next one is Brian Johnson. His his name is Breeze. You just call him Breeze. He's from Detroit Lakes too and he gave us, um, he finds four leaf clovers on his property, the, uh, his cabin on Strawberry Lake. And, um, and he laminates them. I don't know how he finds them, but he finds a lot of them. That and is phenomenal. So, yeah, and so here is one for Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. And yeah, he was giving them out to a few anchors and he's like, here, take one for Chris too. Thank you. I know. You said it's Breeze. Breeze, thanks a million. Breeze. I'm yeah. going to put this right here to bring me good luck, right over my heart. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Breeze. Yeah. I know, I know. Isn't it cool? And then he said his sister heard us talking one day about how we're 24. And his sister <laughs> said, and, okay, th I'm not making this up. Chris Berg is not 24. <laughs> but that Andrea Larson is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. you know why, though? You, the last you know part. why? Because she thought I was 21. Uh, probably. <laughs> probably. She's like, you guys talk about that a 
lot. I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we are. Uh, but anyway, that when was kind of funny. When you're 59, you think back to the good old days. So. <laughs> I look good for good. 59, though, don't I? You look rocking for 59. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was a good time out there. There were lots of people. We gave away lots of cookies. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It was good. So did you do anything fun over like Memorial Day weekend or this weekend? Um... You were sleeping, resting? There were no, there, we had a birthday party yesterday, the neighbors, and uh, now just, it was a chill, yeah, kind yeah. of chilling, trying it, to veg out a little bit. I actually get the chance to, like, read some from a book. I haven't done that in, in years. Oh, so yeah. Vacation was good. We also want to give a shout out. A lot of uh, graduation, high school graduation took yeah. place over the weekend, mm -hmm. so... For those of you that are going on to that next chapter, congratulations. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I know there's some, <laughs> you know, trepidation when that happens, but mm -hmm. you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. And we're giving away rest. cash today to the graduates. Or somebody <laughs> is. Remember, this is the story of the, we don't know if it's the same guy. There was this guy in San Francisco who was in realty. Maybe you were gone. Were you here? I was we gone, talking? yeah. Okay, no. okay. He's been given, he was giving away cash all over San Francisco, hiding it in certain spots, and then giving away a clue on Twitter. So I don't know if this it's the same guy or not, but there's a guy who's got a Twitter handle, Fargo Hidden Cash. The latest tweet was 39 <clears> minutes <throat> ago. I don't know if we can move that bug slightly. It says, can I get a retweet? Fargo Hidden Cash. Giving um, later today. Yep. Uh, will, I think it says, will Fargo pay it forward? Yeah. <laughs> I love the hashtag, be nice, play nice. Yeah. <laughs> I know, isn't that great? So who knows how much it'll be. The San Francisco guy, it was 100 or less. Oh, they were giving away 100 bucks. Yeah, like he had every, like for several days in a row. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I know. And uh, again, we don't know if it's the same guy, just someone who wants to pay it forward. But hey, if you, uh, if you end up finding that cash, uh, post a pic on our Twitter page or something or on our Facebook page. I'd love to share yeah. with people tomorrow obviously i hope that we are the ones who find it that would know? be great <laughs> sorry everyone i have to leave work because i'm gonna go try to find some hidden cash it would be really great oh so this is a fun piece that we found um what the state you live in says about you so yeah. whether you're watching in minnesota or north dakota take a moment and think about okay so what does it say about me to live in north dakota These if i were to ask you that question on the top of your head what would you say great, i would say traditional people. Okay. Great people. <laughs> yeah. So here's what um, North Dakota. And this, of course, is, you know, they're, yeah. they're poking fun. North Dakota is mostly tornadoes. Huh? Uh, everyone in North Dakota is unsure of what year it is. They all have shag carpets. That's my favorite Still one. Still better than <laughs> South Dakota. So Minnesota, if you live in Minnesota, this is what it says about you, I think is classic. People in Minnesota play duck, duck, gray duck instead of duck, duck, goose. How true is that? Yes. Um, that's messed up. It says, everyone sounds like mom and Bobby's world. I have no idea what that reference is. Don't you know? Classic. Everyone's way too nice. This was Andrew and I's favorite <laughs> one, though. And everyone has a mullet haircut. They, <laughs> they play, play hockey, hockey in. in. And then, of course, there's Prince. And there's always three feet of snow on the ground, which sort of is true. But this one's even better. This is about Michigan. We're going to, yeah. uh, Rhonda, if you don't know, is from Michigan. Rhonda, did you see these by chance about Michigan? Yes, I did, and they are not so, true. So, did your friend's dad take Madonna to prom? No. <laughs> no. People from Michigan only take vacations to other parts of Michigan. <laughs> that, that That's because Michigan is so scenic and beautiful. Yeah. Surrounded by the lakes, go up north. No one in know. Michigan owns a new sweatshirt. Yeah, I'm not sure. What, what's That's that about? That's not true. I own a new sweatshirt. <laughs> it's not new anymore, but it was when I bought it. Uh, what else? Everyone knows someone who went to college in Michigan, so which we, yeah, yeah, we that's, do. That's so true. That one is very true. Everything in Michigan is frozen for 11 months out of the year, <laughs> but man, that one month is awesome. <laughs> that's not true at all either. Yeah. North Dakota is way more frozen, frozen and cold than Michigan. It might be this year, after where the Great Lakes froze all the way through, so it, yeah. it's going to be cold in Michigan for <laughs> quite some time. What else we got? This, this I'm, next I'm, one. I'm like leaving this whole show to you. I'm going to sit oh, back geez. and relax. Here I am, like, just trying to get back on the training wheels. And so if this thing yeah. gets out of control again, excuse me. But so this story I love. There's a yeah. bear down in Florida. You may remember this, actually, in East Grand Forks, I think it was last Thursday or Friday. Friday yeah. Black roaming bear around. is found roaming around downtown. Now, yeah. 
I don't know about you, but if I bump into a black bear, I am freaking out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Do you remember the story about the dude that, that, remember, he was with his kids, and he took honey, and he wanted his son to, like, touch the bear, so they no. took... Some people. Anyway, and, so... And did anything happen to the kid? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we won't go into details oh, no. on a family-oriented show, but it was not pretty. Okay. okay, sorry. Keep it clean here. So uh, down in Florida, I don't know if this is the same bear from East Grand Forks or what, but look at this this dude. What he does? He just, He's chilling he's in, a in, a in a hammock. But how did he get into it? That's. I mean, I can barely get into a hammock. How did he get into it? But actually, it's a nuisance. Uh, I mean, it's kind of funny right here, but it's it's a nuisance. Well, uh, when you're 24 years old, it's tough to get into hammocks. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, but but no, it, the bear's a nuisance. I mean, you know, he's I just think that's so. He looks like he's literally. Can we bring that up one more time? It's just people, like the people in the neighborhood are worried about. Um, I mean, bears roaming around. <laughs> he's like, can someone get me some grapes here? Where's my fans? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm getting a little too serious about this. Funny. I and then we've got great. one last photo. This guy invented. <clears throat> um, you know the suitcases that you take to the airport? Why not make them into a scooter and just drive that baby to the airport? He's got a motorized uh, a suitcase. And I gotta he's see this. Roaming around China with it. That is brilliant. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. You, um, if you ever fly into Chicago O'Hare, you need one of those things because your yeah. exits are always like a gazillion miles away. He's actually on the streets, but that would make sense maybe if you're gonna park and then take your whole family and cruise in. <laughs> <laughs> Because it can be a little bit of a hike sometimes to the airport. I think all business people should have one of those when they fly into, you know, different big airports and just jump on their little scooter and... Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> yeah, get to your exit in no time flat. But if you could see my suitcase, I mean, I, they need to invent one. This one's only like 16, 15 to 16 pounds. That's not going to fly. I'm like just under 50 pounds all the time. 49.9. Like, good, you're good to go. <laughs> Serious, I pack, I pack a lot in there. Oh. We've got a whole lot coming up on the show. Tony Nacello is back. This time he's cooking today. And we're doing some handy crafts, kids crafts, summer camp type of crafts. Nice. Yeah. Stay with us.